diving expedition. That's right, a little bit of fishing and a little bit of diving. Well, anchor first, and uh, I noticed fish on the bottom. I noticed just clouds of sea bass on the bottom. So we'll anchor, and we'll get over the wreck, and we'll drop some chum down so we can get the bite going a little bit, because it wasn't going well yesterday. We'll put some chum on the bottom to start off with, and we'll start throwing some chum on the top. So then we'll bring in all the sharks and then we'll jump in the water. Right, right. We jump in. We jump in. Yeah. Oh, you jump in, I mean. You jump in and tell us what it's like. We'll send Frank. <laughs> hey, don't tell him this part. What do you got here? Give me a, give me a rundown That's on the clam. bait. That's a fresh clam. This is salted clam. Salt cut. Which tastes better? What's that? Which tastes better? <laughs> the salted clam is more, more tough. It's, it's more rigid, so it's more apt to stay on the hook. Got it. Where the crushed clam, they take off. So now the squid, you're going to put them on hold? No, I'll cut these, I'll strip these. The heads I use on a small jig, but these whole ones, if you want to try for a big, big fluke, like a fluke will take this whole. Oh, it's yeah. got to be a big fluke. Yeah. Right there. And then what do you use the crab for? You have uh, green crabs. Cut those as well. Cut them if they're too big. You quarter them, and sea bass will eat those as well. So what we're trying to do is give it a sort of, you know, everybody up, fishes something different. Up and the then, bay. Yeah. Then we zero in on what they like. Got it. Today. I'm going to interview you because I I hear you're such a experienced fisherman. You outfish everybody when you come on the boat. It's a complete lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fabrication. Fishing's been pretty poor. What'd you catch, John? A fish. A fish. <laughs> what kind of fish? I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure. Frank, Frank had one. I've had a number of fish, but oh, they're all short. All short, and one uh, skate, right? One skate, that's it. Did he bite you? He got me right on the thumb. He did? Yeah. I didn't know he got you. Got you. So, um... I got one of these. That's a beauty. Uh, is it a beer mug? Show mm. us, John, open the cooler so we can see what's in there. Wow. Wow. Howard's going to, um, he's going to go down and he's going to pull the hook out. And, and do some reconnaissance. And do some reconnaissance to, to tell us whether or not there's fish down there. He's going to try to convince the fish to bite. Look, okay, now I can show him in his speedo. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking the gun. Oh. Give us a rundown what you plan on doing down there. Well, first thing I'm going to do is get Frank's lure off the bottom. It's stuck down there. It's a fish has it. Yeah, it's a fish. We it's, don't want that to happen. It's so big. Fish. It's so Giant big. Fish. And then I'm going to make up for you guys not catching fish, and I'm going to murder every legal size fish. <laughs> and I will come up with a stringer that's so loaded <laughs> that you guys will be crying because you didn't go down. Come on, it's 10 o'clock. We have two fish. We have 30, how many more to go? Oh, 38. 30, I thought we had 38 three. to go. Thir oh, 30. 38. Oh, we have three. Three. We have three keepers. So we have 37 to go, and it's 10 o'clock. Good luck, Master. Off he goes to bail us out. And he's going to come up and tell us there's. Thousands of fish down there. Yeah. yeah, you can't see fishing line underwater. Does he look heavy with fish? Oh my god, he's laden with fish. It was barren down there. There was no nothing down there. Shit. It was barren? Yeah. That's why we didn't catch anything. I'm shocked. That's it? That's Hold it. on, let me get a close-up. <laughs> Spent 20 minutes trying to get Frank's rig out of the... Oh, that? I had to end up cutting the line. What was it in? It was caught in everything. There was all kinds of line and rope down there. And it was a... 
a nice uh, delta anchor, I think it is, right there. There was another anchor sitting there. There was a hook, uh, rack hook sitting there. Was oh, it? Geez. Oh, yeah, I, can, I didn't have a lift bag or anything. I couldn't. Besides, I was playing with the other stuff, and I can't believe there was there was like no sea bass. That's why we weren't catching. So sea we we caught the only two. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I think that guy got the keeper. Uh, I did. He had a it small. It was really pretty shocking compared to what I've been seeing down there. Then what are you seeing on your screen? Didn't you say you saw fish? Yeah, I could see fish on there. Got a lot of blackfish. Oh, blackfish. And they were laughing at me. They were coming right up to me. I mean, yeah. It's it's ridiculous how they know that. Got more bait than fish. We got three nice fish. Uh, so we don't have a lottery at the end. See who gets them. <laughs> this is what our third spot. Yep. Go ahead, John. We're good. Yep. All right. Chance to redeem yourself, Howard. Yeah, hopefully. Right, Howard. <laughs> yeah, this is desperation. We're getting desperate. I'm sending you guys in. To get some goddamn fish so we can eat tonight. <laughs> so our wives will still love us when we come so, home. So they won't laugh at us. Yeah. 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 And I'm fishing with the line to make it look good, like I'm gonna catch something. Howard's had his line in the water now two minutes. Doesn't yeah. look doesn't look promising. And you know, are if we you look at that thing, you can still see there's some structure under us. I should be catching something. So we are over the wreck. Yeah. Right. This is the low point of the wreck, but this is the low point of the day. <laughs> oh, 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 that hurt. <laughs> We're trying it again, and Frank, it's up to you. Got it. Professional photographer. Checking the settings before he goes in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I heard the beep. The beep, beep, beep. Yep. All right, we'll have a good dive. Be safe, have fun. Yeah, don't scare our fish away. And come back with a stringer full. And six lobsters. How many? Six. Yeah, That's all. Got a porgy.
edible stuff? Uh, I guess something for everyone. There you go. Hey, pull it out of the bag. Let's see what he got. Okay. Oh, he got, got, got two nice ones. Is. Nice ones, too. Put them in there. Before you put them in the cooler. That's a real big one. Nice claws. Done good. You're done good. See, somebody had a successful one. Yeah. Is that the only fluke you saw? That's a nice fluke, too. That's got to be 26, 27 inches, I would think. Wow. Oh, you got a nice 47. Yeah, that's a nice Ava. Looks brand new. Yeah, what is this? Is that a fluke rig? Yeah. Yeah, it's a fluke rig. Yeah. That's a store board. I know it's not a Johnny rig, because John would have a plain rig, no terminal tackle, and he'd be catching fish left and right on it. And this other guy would be, this one thing got from the store for 10 bucks, wouldn't be catching anything. Yeah, I, that's the best, right? Less stuff to catch down there for a million reasons, it's good. So, Joe, where'd you go on that dive? No, right, well, actually, right where you said. Oh, really? Under the overhang. Is that where you saw the big fluke? There were three flukes. Yeah, yeah. That's a good spot. Yeah, yeah. Did you see fluke anywhere else other than that? No. I did, actually, I went back and forth that about three times trying to get some sea bass. Oh, okay. And how were the sea Were there a lot of sea bass? Uh, really? Big ones. There were big really? ones, but they were way in. Oh. And, again, I saw a monster blackfish. Yeah. With a head as, hum as big as, as a big human as head? Mine. John, you, it's all for you. That's a nice, what are, what are these? The yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't get any newer than that. half hour ago. Yeah. Now it's mine. He went for a ride, fished for five minutes, lost it, now it's yours. Hold up your fluke, too. Let's see that fluke. Yeah, I was 26. If we get a couple more bags of ice, we could fill that freezer up. <laughs> I used to do that with Bart. I put a lot of ice on the bottom. He'd bring like pails and pails of ice. Put on the bottom, and it only took like four lobster on top. It looked like you had a cooler full of lobster. This is a female. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's loaded with eggs, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Nice. No shell rot, right? Uh, a little on that one. Yeah. The ones I got yesterday, uh, I think uh, I had quite a few. I think three of them had shell rot. You and Bob caught one the other day. Yeah, that, oh, oh, that my, really ugly one. It didn't one. even look like a lot. Yeah, that was really bad. You know, it couldn't maintain itself anymore. I think that's what it was, you know. It was so sickly at that point. And it, when you catch them, they die really fast, too, in the cooler. Okay. But this has the shell rot. Yeah, yeah. You, you can, can see this. A little that's bit. not as bad, though. Yeah. The spots on the back. Yep. Yep. If he shed or she shed, she shed. It might be. You know, you might not even see it.